Hey everybody, Scott Sprantz or DocSports.com with our update for Saturday, Final Four Saturday, and we'll get to a pick from one of today's Final Four games, a total in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, set yourself up for a free $60 account, use the $60 on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, it's a great way to give it a trial run, and all you got to do is click on the link below the video. Uh, free pick again in just a moment in the Final Four, but I first wanted to mention what happened last night, what we got going on for Saturday. As you know, we've been on a red-hot run in the NBA. We went into last night on a 17-4 and run with the last 21 NBA picks, and last night, uh, I, just a bad pick by me. No two ways about it. We lost. You know, we were never in it, and uh, no excuses. We still take a nice 17-5 and run, into Sunday's card potentially because I'm not playing any of Saturday's games. In, in fact, in the NBA, it's a very short schedule. Don't like any of the games, so we'll see how it goes for Sunday. But uh, whether we play any more regular season games or not, the cool thing is we're going to have a real nice run going in uh, to the playoffs in the NBA. In fact, going all the way back to January 2nd through last night, we've had a nice run picking up some money uh, for those who have been with us in the NBA. And again, the last 22 picks, 17 and 5 even with last night's clunker. So uh, we will look to get back in action in the NBA on Sunday. Uh, but as far as Saturday is concerned, going to pass in the NBA. We're going to have NHL for Saturday, 92-72, and 72, our last 164 the NHL. We're going to have baseball for Saturday. That will be released at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Saturday. And at the same time as the baseball, we're going to be posting our uh, college basketball Final Four. We've got two plays. We've got a total from one game, and we've got the side in the other game. So you're going to get both games, a total and a side, in Saturday's Final Four action. And again, that'll be over at DocSports.com at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, or any time after that up until tip-off. Uh, also wanted to mention real quickly uh, that NASCAR will be posted no later than 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, Saturday night for Sunday's stop at Bristol. And again, we'll look to even get those out even a little bit earlier than that, but uh, no later, I uh, promise you, no later than 11 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night for our NASCAR picks for Sunday's race and stop over at Bristol Motor, Motor Speedway. No UFC this week, no fights this week, so our next action with the UFC is going to be next Saturday on April 13th. All right, let's get to our free pick for Saturday, Final Four action. We're going to look at the total on this report between Auburn and Virginia. So that means we're going to have the side between Auburn and Virginia for our premium pick and the total between Texas Tech and Michigan State as our total premium pick. Both plays over at DocSports.com Saturday morning. Total between Virginia and Auburn. It's gone up about a point uh, since, you know, it was about 130 for most of the week, now 131. And uh, we tend to agree with that little movement that's taken it up about a half a point to a point. And here's the thing. I mean, everybody's talking about Virginia's fantastic top five defensive efficiency, that pack line defense that they tend to play. Put one guy in another guy's shirt, the ball handler. That's, that's always being defended definitely one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, everybody else fills their role. And everybody's talking about whether or not Auburn can hit from the deep perimeter against Virginia, whether Virginia will slow it down. Listen, Virginia's not only top five uh, in defensive efficiency, but also offensive efficiency. And as far as Auburn is concerned, they're not going to change what they do. They're not going to dump the girl that brought them to the dance, so to speak, just because Okiki is going to miss his second game after getting injured, what, last week against North Carolina last Friday night. So here's the situation. I do believe that Auburn is going to be able to hit some shots. I do believe Virginia is going to play at an up-tempo pace. Not up-tempo, uh, thinking about 85, 90 points per game, but up-tempo relatively speaking. They can do it. They've got the goods. They've got a couple of future NBA players on this team, and Auburn's going to have to answer. And then Virginia's going to have to turn around and play at a level that's going to get them what they hope to be the victory. So I think you're going to see a game that lands over 131. Uh, the pack line defense is going to get tested. Auburn's outside shot is going to get tested. Before last week's game against Kentucky, if you look at what Auburn did offensively in their previous three or four games going back to the SEC championship with Tennessee, I mean, they were something like 42 for 98 from the three-point line, you know, upwards of 44%. From area code three. Now, last week against Kentucky, they only went seven for 23, uh, but they're going to continue shooting. They'll shoot the ball 30 times from behind the three point line if they have to in this one. So, again, we think it's going to be a little bit more up tempo, relatively speaking, than a lot of people think when it comes to Virginia and their style of play in this particular game against Auburn. So, we're going to recommend a play on the over about 131 between Auburn and Virginia 
in Saturday's Final Four action. All right, listen, again, don't forget about what's going on at DocSports.com. We've got a sign from the Final Four, a total from the Final Four, obviously a different total than our opinion here. Uh, and we've got NHL and Major League Baseball all going busy Saturday. NASCAR plays will be revealed on Saturday night at 11 p.m. Eastern time for Sunday's race at Bristol. That's everything that's going on for me Saturday. And then, of course, on the left turn circuit, NASCAR on Sunday. And, and again, don't forget about that $60 free account. If you've yet to get on board at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get set up for the free $60 account. You can use that on my daily packages, in fact, on Saturday. So uh, go and give it a try if you wish. All right, listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. When you subscribe, you don't miss out on any daily videos. I'm Scott Sprites for DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the wind column. I'll be right back here for you Eastern Sunday morning.